This YouTube expert has studied over 1,000 viral videos, cracking the YouTube algorithm in the process. Now I know what you might be thinking. He's just another one of those gurus who likes to exaggerate things. He can't actually crack the YouTube algorithm, right? Well, he's come as close as with countless small channels thanking him on Twitter for helping them escape the YouTube hell of low views. And now that I know this formula, it sounds incredibly simple. So simple, in fact, we used it on this very video. The truth is YouTube's been telling us how to beat the algorithm for years, but nobody pays attention. All you need to do really is hover over this little icon in the YouTube analytics, and there it is. You can increase the chance of YouTube suggesting your content by increasing your click-through rate and your video watch time. And today we're gonna to focus on click-through rate. Not saying watch time's not important, but if people don't click, then watch time is irrelevant. So with that being said, what makes you think people click on videos? Now I like to think that you, the vidIQ nation, are a bunch of well-educated creators, and you're going to say two things, title and thumbnail. And you're not wrong, but which is more important? Now again, you lot are smart people, and most of you are likely to say thumbnails because it's the first thing you see when you're browsing on YouTube. But let me present to you evidence A and evidence B. These videos are getting hundreds of thousands of views, if not millions of views, and the thumbnails are awful. Truly, truly awful. So let me ask you again, which is more important, a thumbnail or a title? And your answer should be, Yes. But today's focus is titles, because that's what Jake Thomas, our YouTube expert, specializes in. Jake publishes a free weekly newsletter called Creator Hooks that picks out the best YouTube titles and turns them into templates that can be used by any creator for any topic, any niche. And we've got him on the line right now. So, Jake, we don't have time to cover everything you know, but if you only have three minutes, give us a shortcut, a title template for viral videos but works for small channels. Off you go. The best R6 attacker nobody plays. I love this title, it's simple, but it builds a ton of curiosity. First, there's contrast between best R6 attacker and nobody plays, right? It's kind of counterintuitive. Why is nobody playing this R6 attacker if they're so good? Also, it's a cliffhanger. Who is this R6 attacker? So you've got to click and you've got to find out who it is. And then finally, you kind of feel like you're getting in on a secret. Um, you know, why does nobody play this attacker? What does this person know that not everybody else knows, right? So, and this title can be used for a bunch of different industries. Another example is the best relationship advice no one told you. We ran every day for 30 days. Here's what happened. There are four things I love about this title. First is the time frame. Time frames make videos feel more tangible so you know exactly what the video is gonna be about. Also, in this case, the time frame makes this video feel more attainable, right? Like if they can do this for 30 days, I can do the same thing for 30 days. The second thing I like about this title is that they're talking about things you can do every day. Again, doing things every day makes them feel a little bit more tangible, right? And then also they're easy to kind of plug into your daily routine. The third thing I like about this title is that they finish with curiosity. Here's what happens, opens a loop, and it makes you want to click to figure out what actually happened. And then finally, this title is accessible to anybody. Like you don't have to be a running expert or a fitness expert to do something every day and then go make a video about it. There are a couple of other titles that use these same elements to go viral and you can use the same thing. Like what happens if you jump rope for 30 minutes every day? Five dog training exercises you should do every day at home. What happens to your body when you eat chia seeds every day? Ex employee warns us about Taco Bell's meat. This is a simple but powerful title. First off, it uses authority. This is a story from an ex employee, right? Like someone who has kind of insider knowledge of what actually goes on at Taco Bell. So it's more believable and more credible. Also, it confirms our suspicions. We've all wondered, is Taco Bell's meat actually meat? Or like, you know, why does it give people so many tummy problems? Just that kind of feeling about Taco Bell, it confirms those suspicions. Then it also works because it's a warning. Warnings do a great job at grabbing our attention. And then finally, this title is relatable. It has a broad appeal because almost everybody has had Taco Bell. Another title that went viral using a really similar format is YouTube employee reveals new secrets for growing your channel. Top 10 most devastating wildcard 
card losses of all time. First off, this is all about drama and negativity, right? It's not like best comeback wins of all time. It's most devastating losses and people on YouTube love drama. And then you've got the fact that this is really epic and extreme. It's extreme because these are the most devastating losses. The words the most actually give this title more power. And then it feels kind of epic because it's talking about losses of all time, right? So it just, you really increase the scope of this video and it feels way more powerful and way more dramatic. And here are two other titles that use similar strategies to go viral. Inside Tokyo's tiniest luxury apartment and 20 greatest discontinued foods of all time. I wish I knew these before I upgraded to Windows 11. This is powerful for two reasons. First off, it's about regret. This is what I wish I knew, right? Regret is such a powerful emotion that almost anybody can use on their YouTube channel because everybody wants to avoid regrets. So people are really tuned in to clicking on those and seeing what does this person re regret and how can I avoid that? Also, this builds a lot of curiosity. What are these things that he wishes he knew before he upgraded? Another example of a title using a similar structure is five tips I wish I knew before I started motion design. Oh, I'll tell you what, that's a whole chunk of actionable, valuable stuff right there. Which brings us back to the title of this video. We like it because it indicates personal involvement in the research conducted, which adds credibility and authority to the title. The high number demonstrates the sheer scale of the research, along with a random number that creates a little bit of intrigue. Viral is a common buzzword within YouTube language that creators all positively associate with. And Crack the Algorithm reveals the objective of the study. Again, a very common and basic desire of the average video creator is to understand the algorithm more. And by by cracking the algorithm, we've just sprinkled a little bit of sensationalism on top. Sensational. But while we really do like this title, we haven't fallen in love with it because it might not work and we can't put all of our eggs in one basket. So here are a couple of alternatives on screen now, which the video may be called when you click on it. That's titles taken care of. Now it's time for thumbnails. There's an expert in this video waiting to help you.